And that's our Detroit golfers. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. And we are here with a Tuesday tip of the week. The last couple of weeks, we've talked about committing to one thing, uh, sticking the landing, and then the PVC pipe. So what we're trying to do is get your attention more on the target side of the ball with those activities. And what we're gonna talk about today is gonna fall in line with that. So one thing that you can do is a skill that is severely underpracticed and something that you definitely wanna develop if you wanna become a better player is target awareness. So what's the deal? How are we gonna practice it? How is it gonna support everybody around Metro Detroit getting better at golf? This is a very serious thing, folks. Yes. <laughs> yes. So if all of you at home, just think of any other sport that you've ever played. So if I'm playing baseball and say I'm the pitcher, what do you think my attention's on? The catcher's mitt. If I'm Matt Stafford getting chased around the pocket, guess where my attention is? On the receiver and what I'm trying to do with the ball. Firing the coach. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they gone. <laughs> yes. So any other sport that you typically play, your attention is always on the target, but then there's a sport called golf. And most of the people we work with when we first meet them, like, well, what are you focused on during your swing? Well, making sure I get my butt out. I got to make sure that the club goes this way. And then my right arm's got to fold. And then I got to turn. And then I got to lift my... Well, there's no attention on the target. So can you imagine playing catch with one of your friends and you have no idea where they are? It's like you have great mechanics. Yeah. But you don't know where the target is. Or your buddy. You would never hit the target. Right. So a lot of times what we notice with golfers, they're, they're, their focus is so internal that there's no attention outward. And if the player just kept their attention outward on the target, they'd probably play a hell of a lot better. And definitely free up. So we've talked about the free swinging motion and, and commitment to one thing, all these things. So uh, in, you know, a lot of people come to see us, their laundry list of things seldom includes the target. Yeah, very rarely. So you're like, well, where are you trying to hit it? And then uh, we can tell by the look on their faces that it's not nothing that they had considered. Uh, so what we're asking you to do is, one, understand the relevance of this skill. Two, start taking some action on it. And three, that you can see that it's much more fun to play the sport with a target focus yep. in mind, trying to get the ball to do something relative to target versus being solely about the golf swing. So how, you know, for some of you have simulators in your garage or you can go to Oasis or come in here, how would, how would people practice this target awareness skill? Yeah, so really uh, getting behind the ball, determining what that target range is, and then just keeping the target in mind when you swing. So there's two different types of target focus. So you have players that are much better with what we would call as a broad focus. So I'm just trying to hit it in this area. And then there's other players that are much better with the narrow focus. Like I'm trying to hit it at that lead. You have to determine which one you are. I will tell you which type of player I am. I am a broad focus guy. The narrower I get, the more stressed I get, the more steering and guiding I do when I swing. So I go broad. So the broader my target is, the more free I am with my swing and the closer I actually hit it to the target. So there's no right or wrong. No, there's not. You gotta try both and figure out which one you are. Yeah, so running the experiment is yep. the, the only way to determine. And, and you'll know, it's kind of like your favorite music or your favorite wine you know what you like and you'll find out real quick. Yeah. Okay, so you're broad. Yeah, I'm broad. Some just keeping your attention more like at the trees-ish? Yeah, so so really, I'm gonna use a pretty big area. So I'm gonna use the point of this tree and the point of this tree and I'm just gonna try to hit it between them. I'm gonna try to split the uprights like Jason Hansen used to do back in the day. Yes, what about Prater? <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt Prater, he's Prater, he'll have too. some two hearted nails with us. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, so anywhere in between the uprights is where yep. your attention is, yes? And I'm going to keep my attention there while I swing. Let's go! Yeah, somewhere Split in the, the uprights, upright. yeah? Yep. Okay, so back to the one to five commitment scale. That's why, you know, three, three weeks ago, this skill is so important. So the question is, were you able to keep your attention on the intention of the target focus? And to what mm -hmm. degree? One. Yeah, I was, a, I was a five there, so I just had my broad little range, swung freely, launched the ball right between it. It was no problem. Very good, because you practiced it. Yes, a lot. I yes. mean, every single round of golf I play, I mean, that's definitely one of my play calls. I use this one all the time. Very good. So target focus is critical, and then starting to understand if small targets help you, like the aim small, miss small uh, theory that a lot of people hold true, or more broad, like hitting it into a lake or an ocean, you just... You know, maybe you're up north and you're hitting balls into a lake and you seem to flush it better when you're hitting it into a lake. Mm -hmm. So so no right or wrong. Uh, see what you can do to play with this. So getting more attention on the target side of the ball, starting to play golf like you would play other sports, uh, and you'll be surprised at how this will help you. It's definitely a skill you want to practice. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, like we said, if you have any uh, videos that you'd like to see us uh, cover, any topics you'd like to see us cover, we'd be more than happy to do so. So thank you for joining us, and we we'll look forward to seeing you next time.